She's been called an unsung hero in our community for sharing meaningful stories about life and people in the Pacific Northwest. For 40 years, Jean Walkinshaw has been producing documentaries for public television. Still spry and energetic at the age of 78, Walkinshaw has no plans of calling it quits. People are always the center of my documentaries. I start out with people. She's been at it for 40 years, producing some 40 documentaries for KCTS and the public broadcasting system. It goes down to the end of that. I think that whole mountain that I have. She's earned a countless number of awards and introduced us to a countless number of people. Jean Walkinshaw has been called an institution in our community, an unsung hero. At a recent celebration of her work at the Museum of History and Industry, Walkinshaw shared her experiences. She spent more than half her life telling stories about the great Pacific Northwest, stories that have captured the soul, the history, and the people that make our region special. One of her favorites, a documentary called The River. They've offered me $550,000 for this place. What do I need that much money for? The Columbia River is certainly would be high on my list. I think it was one of the more successful shows I did because it had structure that made itself. We started out with the river and we followed and talked to the folks along the river. And so we, you know, you could take a journey with us. All you have to say, you got to do it and you'll do it. I do not work from a preconceived script. Uh, I like to feel that like I'm a conduit rather than I am going to go and do my thing. I mean, I do my thing, but my thing is to talk to people, find out what they think, what, they, what their value systems are, what is important to them, and then let the documentary go where it goes. The first documentary that I did was Three Artists in the Northwest, a picture of our two Emmys we won, and that was the one that really started us on our way. That was 1976. Since then, Jean Walkinshaw's so-called luck has brought her a total of eight Emmys and several other prestigious awards. The American Film Festival Awards, I think we've gotten two of those. The um, New York Festivals, um, this is the American Film Festival again. One was the uh, Kennedy Award for Journalism. Uh, Diane Sawyer and I were honored and everybody wonders who in the world is Jean Walkinshaw? <laughs> Hey, there's a rainbow over there, too. Walkinshaw likes to explore what she calls the gorgeousness of the Northwest with all of its visuals. It's an amazing day, isn't it? Yeah, Look at the light. But her documentaries are not confined by boundaries and issues. She's traveled to Russia. <laughs> to Africa. <laughs> to find meaningful stories many of which have dealt with issues of poverty and social justice. Oh, it's my passion. I'm so lucky. It's my passion to be able to have at your fingertips uh, a marvelous cameraman, music, an editing system, and then to sit there and put that all together, trying to tell a story. And then you hear the avalanche that falls when they're actually there on the footage. Look at him. I can't imagine anything more exciting. You have the potential of reaching people across the country. I mean, that's, that's uh, why I, I, I love it. I love it. One of her latest projects, The Rona, a History Channel documentary on the sinking of a troop transport ship during World War II that killed more than a 1,000 American soldiers. Just one day out of port and already in combat, the men in the Rona are relieved when the second wave of German bombing ends. We came across some wonderful men, and it meant so much to them to be able to tell their story. And I guess that's another reason why I love this, is that it means a lot to people to be able to have somebody just listen to them talk and uh, to then be able to share them with a broader audience uh, brings me huge satisfaction. It is satisfaction that has been shared for decades by viewers across the country. As I thought back on my career, I was the right person at the right time. Those who do watch, if they really get touched by it, are inspired by it, 
learn something new by it, get a new sense of humanity by it, then I feel, I feel thrilled. Gene Walkinshaw was once recognized by the Columbia School of Journalism for producing the first regularly scheduled program in the country dealing with issues of race and ethnicity. That was back in 1965. Coming up on Cairo 7 Profiles.